To pump with willow, first you need to put the flange or container on your body and confirm your nipple is centered in the insert or flange tunnel. Then attach willow to the flange or container. We recommend using our on the body alignment technique so you can see if your nipple is centered, especially when you're first learning to use willow. First, make sure you've assembled your flex tube to your flange and milk bag or to your milk container. If you're pumping with the container, make sure the dial is set to 1. Then, turn your pump on. Stimulate your nipple and line the flange or container up with your nipple. Look to make sure that your nipple is centered in the flange or insert tunnel. It is important that your nipple is not touching the top, bottom, or sides of the flange or insert tunnel. If there is no position where your nipple is not touching, then you may need another size. Once your nipple is centered, hold the flange or container and bring the pump directly on until it connects. When the pump is connected, hold the pump firmly to your breast and press play. When willow is latching, you'll hear gulping sounds. Then, willow transitions to stimulation phase. You'll hear short, quick sounds like this. If you see an orange blinking light, Take the pump off and start over with just the flange or container again. The error may have happened because the pump was attached at an angle. Avoid bringing the pump from the side or bottom. Once the pump is in stimulation, close your bra and hold willow so it doesn't shift. If you're double pumping, repeat the same steps for your other breast. You'll be in stimulation for up to two minutes. You'll have access to the first three suction levels. The pump will automatically transition to expression phase when it detects letdown. You'll hear slow, quiet sounds. Once you've pumped about half an ounce of milk in expression, you'll have access to all seven suction levels. The pump will automatically increase suction at this time based on your suction level preference in stimulation. If you've chosen the lowest level, the suction won't increase. A great thing to do while in stimulation is to check the app to see if your milk volume is increasing. Many women transition to expression within two minutes, but this can vary. If you're having trouble accessing all seven suction levels or going past half an ounce of milk, here are some tips. Wear the right bra and make sure Willow is held snugly to the breast with no gaps. The blue thumb pad or cap should be pressed against your breast. Try leaning back, we mean really lean back, just until you get into expression. And remember to relax and think of your baby. This can help with letdown. Once you have access to all seven suction levels, try increasing to the highest level that's comfortable for you. If you want to pause your session at any point, press the pump pause button. If you're never able to access all seven suction levels, you might need to realign. Check out our realignment video in the app for more.